on our various community interactions, we are interacting with professionals who uh, have attended Scaled Agile training or who are planning to attend Scaled Agile training. From my side, I want to recommend these seven videos which you should watch before attending any Scaled Agile framework training. The Scaled Agile framework trainings are usually content heavy. They require good amount of understanding from you and it's good if you have the foundational understanding of the essential part of SAFE before you go for these trainings. So let's look at our first topic called Agile Teams. Now when you are exploring scaling Agile, you must be having Agile in your organization. And in order to have an Agile, you need to have an Agile team. So what does this scaling will mean? It might mean that making multiple Agile teams work together in close collaboration and also ensuring the team level agility is also achieved at an organization level. So organization level agility and multi-team agility is the focus area of Scaled Agile framework, but at the atom level, at a smallest unit level, the Agile team still plays the critical role because we need to have Agile in the Agile teams. So Agile teams, are they any different from Scrum teams? I would say more or less they are same like Scrum team. We still use roles like Scrum roles, Scrum master, product owner, team members rather than calling developers we are calling them team members here. The, the team size should be small enough, 3 to 9 team members, scrum master, product owner. So more or less all the ideas and recommendations which are recommended by scrum are followed at an agile team level in the safe as well. This team will work in small iterations, we call iterations rather than sprint by following most of the scrum ceremonies like starting with an iteration planning, doing daily scrum, then focusing on iteration review, iteration retrospective and in between doing team backlog refinement. Now to get a little bit more idea, let's explore the roles which are there in the agile teams. So as I said, they are more or less same like scrum roles, but you might be wondering, what is difference, you know, a agile team or a scrum team without safe and scrum team inside safe, there must be some differences. So I here focus more on those differences. Let's look at the first role called scrum master. So as you understand the role of scrum master is all about facilitation, leadership, ensuring transparency, removing impediments and creating an enabling environment so that team can achieve their desired goals. The same thing remains relevant when you are working as a scrum master in a safe context. You are working in a small agile teams and you are helping the, the team in, in, in achieving the business value which they want to achieve based on their iteration goals. Now the difference here is, here you are working in a multi-team environment. You are expected to collaborate, coordinate, manage dependencies, manage issues in multi-team context. For that, scrum masters are more actively involved in events like Scrum of Scrum. They are expected to ensure uh, that other teams are aware what is happening in their team and they are also expected to ensure that their team is aware of the relevant things which are happening in the other teams. So inter-team coordination, effective communication with other Scrum Masters, ensuring collaboration at a multi-team environment is something which get added when we look at a Scrum Master role. Now look at the product owner role. So the product owner role still is called product owner, but I believe it would have been better if they call it team backlog owner. So in SAFE we have multiple, I would say views of, of work and one of the view is called team backlog. The team backlog is a specific backlog which is given for a one agile team. Now the product owner is expected to work closely with the program level group to ensure the team backlog reflects the overall business value and this product owner will, will facilitate prioritization and explanation of team backlog items which are called user story to the development team. So working closely with the development team ensuring uh, the prioritization and refinement and readiness of team backlog is something is the ownership of product owner. Now what is different? This product owner has to closely work with other product owners because we are talking about multi-team environment and this product owner might be also guided by a leadership group in a product management space which is called product management. We will explore those things when we look at agile release train uh, video next. So scrum master and the product owner. 
The team members more or less they do the same thing which they have been doing in the, in the generic scrum work. The only difference here is they also start getting involved in little bit of long term planning. So, rather than only focusing on one particular iteration, the team member also participate in a multi iteration planning which is called PI planning and, and make some kind of plan and goal for multiple iterations coming inside the program increment. So, in general in order to have agile you need to have agile teams. These are small cross functional agile teams and the scaled agile will provide us various mechanism by which these agile team can work in collaboration with other agile teams and these agile teams also can get alignment, direction, uh, visibility from the organization level. So, those things will you will learn as you learn more about scaled agile framework.